Hey guys, welcome on back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a full beat, full get ready with me. We're gonna be doing my makeup together. I'm gonna to be showing you my go-to straight hair routine, what I do, what I use, straightener, everything. I'm also going to be showing you my outfit. We're going to be picking out my jewelry together and we are going to be uh, picking out my dossier perfume. I'm gonna show you my pick for the month of May. And yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be kind of a vlog style, but this is just going to be me doing my makeup with you now. It is pretty early in the day and we're actually celebrating our anniversary, me and my husband. Brian, we have been together for nine years. Can you guys believe that? That's a long time. So we're going to go celebrate. No kids. My sister is going to be watching Lincoln and Leilani. So it's just going to be just me and him. We're going to go out and get some seafood. I might bring you guys along with me and kind of show you like where we end up going. With that said, I don't want to make this intro too long. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thumbs up the video. And so without further ado, Let's go ahead and get ready. Today's video is kindly sponsored by Dossier A. If you're not familiar with who they are, they are a high quality brand of perfumes and they actually offer inspired scents by luxury brands at half the price. These are only $29 a piece, which makes them super affordable. They are clean and vegan free and they offer a no risks trial. So you can shop for either yourself you can shop for your man or you can just buy for whoever you want. They offer scents that are inspired by Dolce & Gabbana, um, Chanel, Victor & Rolf. I think that's how you pronounce it. They have so many scents. You definitely have to check them out. You can use my coupon code that I will have listed in the description box as well as my link to get your perfume. And we are going to pick that out towards the end of the video. I'm going to be showing you my favorite scent of the month because I have way too many but thank you so much dossier for sponsoring today's video okay i'm gonna start off with the eyes this time because i am feeling something cool tone i haven't done a cool tone look in what seems like forever so i think that's what we're gonna do today i don't know i just kind of thoughts okay what do i want to do i don't want to go too extreme because it is going to be a little bit in the daytime <laughs> So I don't want to go like full on blown out smoky eye, but I definitely want to, you know, I want to do something fun and subtle with the eyes. So I'm just going to blend the concealer. I am using the Hyde Multi-Use Full Coverage Concealer. This one is in the shade Light Beige. This one's really nice for covering up dark circles, tattoos. <laughs> hyperpigmentation, whatever you have, and it's very lightweight on the skin, which is why I've been really into it. I honestly don't know what palette I want to use, so I'm sorry if I go back and forth with a few different ones, but I just, I don't know. I wanna have fun today. I usually stick with one palette only, so I think I'm gonna dabble in between this one, the Carnival palette by Be Perfect Cosmetics. This is a UK brand. I'm gonna take the shade Pillow Talk, which is just a basic matte white. And I am going to be setting right below the brow on the brow bone. This just helps with blending and it makes it a little bit easier And it kind of gives it a highlighted look as well. It just cleans up the brows. Even though I already cleaned my brows with my concealer, I still like to take the extra step for this just to look extra, extra snatched, if you will. I'm going to jump into another palette. This is the Juvia's Warrior palette. This one is really good. I have done a few tutorials. I will try to list them up here if I remember. <laughs> I say that because I forget a lot, you guys. I'm going to take the shade Kana, which is a matte taupey gray, and I'm going to use this as my transitional shade. And this is just going to go right in here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to start off with a very deep shade first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shade Intuition. 
which is a very deep chocolate brown. And I'm gonna take that on an e.l.f. brush. Oh, yes, I forgot how beautiful this palette was. As you can see, it's super, super deep, but not quite black, which is exactly what I wanted. And I'm going to pack it on, on the outer corner. And I'm just going to blend this in, staying just right below the crease. These types of brushes allow for precision. Now I'm going to go back and I'm actually going to pick up that shade Kana, which is the one that I had just picked up. I'm going to use this AOA Studio E129 brush. This is a cool toned color. You can probably use the shade Fade from this palette if you wanted to, but I like the color in this one and it looks a little bit more creamy. Actually, you know what? Let's just mix them both. Why not? We're here. I'm going to take both of those shades and I am applying the color mainly to like the tip of the brush. Let me just dip it back in. And I'm going to concentrate that on the very edge of the dark brown. And this is what's going to diffuse it and make it look a little bit like smoky. And it's going to give it that really soft effect which is exactly what I'm going for. I'm not going to bring in my colors this time. I tend to bring them in, but I saw this tutorial um, on Instagram, I think, of a girl that she was just placing the colors here and it looks so, so pretty. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna change up my technique. I feel like I always tend to do the same. I want to grab a lighter shade, but I don't see any colors in the palettes that I'm using. So I think I'm going to take this, the Afterglow palette by the uh, Bland, what? Brand She Glam, oh my gosh. The hunger is kicking in. And I'm gonna take this shade, which is called um, Soft Glam. And I'm actually going to take it on that same brush. And this one's gonna go into the inner part of the eye. Oh yeah. So any like soft brown shadow that you have will work just fine. And I'm using that same brush. I just cleaned it off with my Veramona color switch. And this is going to be like a gradient soft brown to like the dark cool tones but this brown does have slight cool undertones, which is why I wanted to place it right here. And then I am pulling that shadow out so the blending can be a lot softer and more diffused. And once that is nice and blended, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a glitter glue. I'm not gonna cut my crease. This is the J Cats uh, All About That Base Glitter Primer, one of my absolute favorites. I'm gonna go in and pack it into the inner part of the eye. And then for the press on eyeshadow, I'm going to take the Touch and Soul Metalist Sparkling Foiled Pigments. Um, these don't have names. At least I don't see one. Okay, this one's called Aurora Tape. And I'm just going to... And I said I wanted to go natural. <laughs> well, this turned glam really quick. That's okay. Una vez al año. I was not expecting this eyeshadow to be this this extra though. I thought it was gonna be, I don't know, like more of a like a light sparkle. That's pretty much it for the eyes, you guys. Super easy. I think I will eventually go back and draw in like a smoked out wing liner. Um, but let me go ahead and do this eye off camera and I'll be right back. I went ahead and popped on some lashes. I believe these are the Style Teddy by Queen V Lashes. And then for the eyeliner, I just use the Carter Beauty gel liner. Love this one. And I just smoked it out a little bit on the edges, just using a brush like this with a little bit of black eyeshadow. I am going to move on to the face because I don't want to spend 
too much time on the ice because seriously I can just sit here forever. I'm gonna take the Dr. Brand Pores No More and I'm just going to prime the skin. We're not gonna go out for too long so I'm not very worried about like the makeup lasting on my skin forever because I know that it will. And the foundation that I'm going to use today is the e.l.f. Camel CC Cream. This has just been my go-to. The shade that I'm currently is, or uh, what? The current, the shade that I'm currently using is Medium 310C, which is not my shade. It's a little peachy, but um, it just looks so beautiful on the skin. I do have to drag it all the way down though. Especially if I'm going to be wearing, um, actually, I think I'm going to be wearing like a short sleeve, kind of a short turtleneck shirt, but I still have to bring it down because you can tell the difference between my skin or my face and my neck. I would love to know what you guys do to celebrate like your anniversary with your significant other. We usually try to go on our anniversary and actually it was yesterday, May 13th, um, but yesterday, Brian ended up having to work, so we couldn't go, and we decided we were just going to go today. We usually go out somewhere. He usually lets me pick. I don't know why it's a thing. I always tell him, like, just pick for me, but then I'm like, actually, I'm in the mood for this. So we're going to check out a local seafood place. It's like a Mexican restaurant. They have these really good mariscos. Oh, my gosh. I love, love, love seafood, octopus, everything. I am not a picky eater whatsoever. I honestly would be down for like pho, but I'm pretty sure Brian is fed up with me always eating pho. I love pho so, so much. I'm going to use again the same concealer, Hide. This one is new to me, but I've been really liking it. I don't know how like crazy full coverage it is, how they make it seem on their commercials. But hey, they got me and I ended up buying one. And I'm gonna go in and just blend. I'm trying to decide if I wanna do a cream contour or not. I rarely do it, but I'm kind of in the mood, but I'm kinda not. <laughs> I don't wanna take too much on my makeup because I still need to do my hair and it takes me forever to straighten my hair. I take like uh, piece by piece, it feels like. But I recently got a straightener, and I'm going to show you guys the straightener that I've been using for the past few months. And it's really good and it's affordable. I'm going to use the Banana Setting Powder by CoverGirl. I feel like I haven't used this in forever, and it's definitely one of my favorite setting powders. I am going to bake. I am just going to make sure that I push this into the skin as much as I can so I can set and bake at the same time. And this really brightens underneath the eyes, which is the main reason why I love this product so much. For bronzer, I'm going to use the um, Fenty Beauty, what's it called? Sunstalker Island Teen. And I'm going to use a brush. No, this is not the brush that I want to use. I'm going to use this one. And I'm just going to... Hit the cheeks with a little bit of bronzer. I don't know if I mentioned this, but guys, Lincoln officially has his first two bottom teeth. So with that said, I told myself that I was going to stop breastfeeding him as soon as he started teething because if you're a mom and you've breastfed and you've breastfed up until the points where they get teeth, you know that these little vampires can bite <laughs> pretty much. And... Sadly, you know, my milk supply has dried down a lot. Um, I'm no longer breastfeeding him throughout the day. He's just being bottle fed. And then at night when he wakes up at like 3, 4 in the morning, um, then I will usually just give him uh, my breast. And it's only my left one. My right breast is like totally dried out, which is okay with me. Um, but I'm kind of sad because... That is the reason why I lost so much weight, I swear, is because I was breastfeeding him. And now it's like, oh, I'm going to go back to my old weight if I keep eating the way I eat because I am a foodie, you guys. I'm such a foodie person. I love food and I don't know how to diet because I just, I love hot Cheetos. I like, I like junk food in general. Um, for my blush, I'm going to use the Artist Couture. This is my favorite 
blush palette that I've had in a while. I'm gonna take Infatuated, which is that really pretty, it's like a nude peach. Oh, I love this color, it's so pretty. But just beware because this blush is super pigmented. For the highlight, I'm gonna use this one by ABH. It is the Iced Out Highlighter. To make sure my makeup stays on all day long or as long as I'm out, I'm gonna take the Professional Super Setter Setting Spray. So the face is pretty much done. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try out the new Jaclyn Cosmetics lipsticks. I picked up two shades. I got I'm a Cancer and Absolutely. I also picked up her lip liner in the shade uh, Hot Tea. So I'm going to line my lips with the lip liner first. I think I'm gonna go with the shade I'm a Cancer. I'm gonna swatch them for you guys. Honestly, both of them are so pretty. She has so many shades to choose from. I, I didn't know which one to go with. Ugh, I think actually I'm gonna go with Absolutely. Yeah, let's take Absolutely. Oh, that's nice. Oh, and this pairs so nicely with this lip liner. Okay, so here is where, <laughs> can you tell my mom? Hello. Here's where I have the stuff that I'm gonna need. Oh my gosh, I accidentally got makeup on this. And on the other side, it's not coming off. Let me know how you can remove like makeup stains from these drawers. Anyway, so this is where I keep all my hair products. I love these. These are a must if you use hot tools. So we need that. Um, this is the straightener that I'm currently using. It's a rubbing tin. This is a two inch barrel. Love this if you have thick, long hair. I need a heat protectant. This is the HSI. Actually, no. I've been using this one. Well, I go back and forth between the Chi and this one. But honestly, I'm going to use this one because there's a little bit left. So I'm going to finish that. And then I also apply a little bit of this Kenra Platinum Silkening Gloss. Um, this just kind of keeps the hair super, super duper glossy. So if you want super shiny hair, this is awesome. Um, this one is also really good for frizzy hair. And then I'm going to grab some clips so I can clip my hair up. Okay, my straightener is on. I usually... Put it at like 370 380 i love this one because it tells you when it's ready it's like beep beep it beeps <laughs> and it just tells you that it's ready for you to use in a spray i don't know if you guys heard that but it is now ready so the way that i like to in my hair i just washed it yesterday it looks a little bit greasy because like I've mentioned before, I'm doing a hair treatment so I can regrow, regrow all this like, all these bald spots that I have. And I like to suction my hair off in four pieces. I feel like I finish a lot faster if I do my hair this way. So I'm gonna clip this one out of the way. These also come in super duper handy if you have a long hair like mine. Um, I got this one off of Amazon. It's just a brush and it just helps as well with like keeping the hair in place. And I just straighten it. I go over it a few times. And then I've been kind of curling the ends a little bit and I don't know, I've kind of been into that.
Okay, so this is the hair. As you can see, it looks super shiny. And I'm gonna show you guys just what I do. I'll take a little bit of that Kenra oil. And I won't do the roots, but I'll just... Oh, and it smells so delicious. All her products smell really good. And... That's pretty much it, honestly. Like, that's all I will do to my hair. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off this side of my hair off camera. We're going to pick out the jewelry together, and then we're going to go downstairs into my bathroom and pick out what perfume I'm going to wear, and I'm going to show you guys my outfit. So I'll be right back. So for jewelry, I for sure want to wear these rings. I bought these at the mall the other day, and I've been so obsessed with them. So I'm just going to put these on. For earrings, I don't know what I want to wear. Um, do I want to go with like big hoops or do I want to do something small? These are kind of cute, but I've been really into these. <sighs> okay, I think I'm going to go with maybe like some big hoops because I don't know. Maybe these. Ah, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to go in with these big hoop earrings. Up top, I have my Dossier perfumes, and if you guys are not familiar with them, they are a brand that offers clean ingredients, vegan and cruelty-free scents at a fraction of the price of the luxury ones. These are inspired by more expensive perfumes. I have Floral One, um, Fresh Floral, Floral One, Floral Pear, um, Gorman White Flowers, and Floriental Coconut, but I am going to wear something a little more fresh so we're going to go downstairs and we're going to choose a scent. These are only $29 a piece, which is crazy affordable. They do have a risk-free trial. You get a little sample and then if you don't like it, you can totally return the unopened big um, container for free. So let's go downstairs. So for outfit, I'm going to keep it super simple. I am going to wear some jeans. These are my current favorites from TJ Maxx. I'm going to wear a black t-shirt that is half turtleneck. And of course, I got to wear my Sphinx underneath. So let me just put this on. Okay, we are pretty much done, you guys. This is the outfit. You can't really see it, but it's just basic black shirt, hoop earrings. Now I'm going to go in with my perfume. This is the Dossier Floral 5. Um, I think the inspiration is the crystal, pink crystal or something like that. I will have a name here or in the description box, but this one smells super fresh. So I'm just going to bathe myself in this one. It's one of my absolute favorites. But if you want something a little more like if you're going to go out at night, then I think Oriental Floral 1 is really good. Oh, yeah, this one's a little bit more sexy. Um, definitely more for going out at night. So that is it, you guys. This is the final look. I love how the eyes turned out. Hello, baby hair. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's Get Ready With Me hair, makeup, outfits, um, perfume, and jewelry. I love you guys. Stay safe. And until next time, I will see you all in the next video.